feel like I have a lot of respect for you. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad that I garner your so respect. So now, now that we've like been over that. Maybe in like two weeks. If you see me again in two weeks when I'm walking around, I'm all for it. So you just don't want my number? No, probably not. Not right now. So as you guys seen, that girl cannot handle it. <laughs> no, but real talk, you guys. All in the modern day, you guys might think that because the way a woman displays herself as so confident, not willing to take no BS, not dealing with men nowadays, for how men are not doing this, can't bring this to the table, that doesn't matter because that just proves the video that you guys just seen, how one will still have those feelings of, wow, I messed up, or I should have did this differently. Okay, so my fellas, the first thing I want to start with saying that you guys deal with way more rejection than women. When you guys are dealing with the dating game, the dating day-to-day -day type of thing, especially when you guys have to approach, you guys are going to come across way more turned down, it's way more I'm not interested. So the first factor, like I was saying, is because you don't have women showing you that same reaction and it's not going to happen when women are not approaching you. So we know with the dating game, yes, fellas, you guys are expected to always go ahead and make that first move with the woman. That's going to be annoying. Like, yes, you guys are not going to want to do that all the time. And also, especially times where she looks really good, knowing that she has other men, you're not going to really want to do that because you could be second. <laughs> Who knows? You could be fifth too, right? So to backtrack for all my fellas, <sighs> got to start with them. In order to get this woman to basically show this interest, my fellas, the day-to-day -day things that you guys are doing is starting with how you're showing her who you could be or who you are. So the first aspect of all of it, if you want her to want you, my fellas, what are you doing every day to go ahead and make you be different than those other types of guys? Rejection is always going to happen. But when you become a different type of guy because you don't accept rejection and also you know how to bounce back and that's bouncing back where you don't show the emotional unstableness, let's say like that. You don't show that you can't handle it. Then you'll have a woman feel like, okay, well, I can reject him. It doesn't mean nothing. Now, my point is why women can't reject one, uh, men for sure. I'll do a separate video about that as well. But it's, at the end, it's about you guys because whatever woman can do, I will sh try to show you or point out the things that they can't, but you guys can. So back to you guys, my fellas. If you guys are out here and you can't handle rejection, you can't handle a no, and especially when you see women can't handle rejection themselves, then you have to understand women can't handle rejection because they are not used to it. So you guys are used to it daily. That's one aspect. Next part is rejection is so harsh for women. They are emotional by nature. Fellas don't understand that. A lot of times you can say things to a woman that you can't say to a man and you will have a sad, a greater, or just a reaction out of that woman compared to a man because her emotional unstableness. And that is just due to their nature. Fellas don't take advantage of that, and you can. It's not that you have to manipulate her. Absolutely not. But you can most definitely get those feelings that she's hiding from you. The things that she doesn't want to express or was holding back because there's a certain reason you could get it out. Now, it's not necessarily even just that. We're just trying to basically be yourself, say what you want, and get it. If you can't get it, you're gone. And that is really what I want to move on to. The rejection is always going to come with women. I'm telling you guys, with this modern day that we have, you have to always approach women. And y'all, I am not here to be laughing at like how bad it is, but it's that bad. In a sense of like, my fellas, in order to get a woman, you have to approach. So a lot of fellas, I don't blame you guys that don't feel like approaching no more. But unfortunately, you're not going to really have a woman approach. And I will bring my story times about how I approach uh, a man before or approaching can work and why a woman would approach. That, you guys got to let me know if you want to see. Links, or not links, sorry. <laughs> but let me know down below. And so my point now for my fellas out here, 
um and they're vacuuming vacuuming in the back uh i'm i'm so confused they're vacuuming it's almost like eight o'clock or something anyways so when you approach a woman i know i seem a little all over the place so much is going on and i kid you guys not but when you are going ahead and approaching a woman, rejection is always going to always happen. It doesn't matter how great of a man you are and what you bring to the table because there is plenty of men that could do that. Now, a woman, based on how her experience is, based on how many men she got, how many men she was able to take advantage of, that's where she's going to go ahead and manipulate a man or take more advantage of that guy because she knows that she can. Okay? So obviously if a woman starts humbling herself and she can't handle rejection she's not handling the rejection correctly because she can't handle the fact that the no is harsh now a no is always going to be harsh for a woman because they are not used to it as i was saying but most definitely is that she doesn't want to hear that women are very bratty they're very i need it and i want it now i should have it and i'm gonna have it now and women are like that because they are actually, and you guys might not believe this, they are trained to be like that. Now, it might not be because her fault. It could be also, but if they're getting validated all the time, if they're getting the exceptions of their behaviors being fine, then they're going to keep doing it. It's working out for them. So that is enough. And that has created a lot of women to think that their behavior is okay to continue to do and they completely feel comfortable with doing. So back to my fellas out here, you guys, if you're going to deal with women and you want her to pursue you, be about you, you're not going to have that with these type of women. And now I can finally move on because you guys get the point. I hope you guys get the point. It's not going to happen. So if it does happen, that is rare and that's good. Make sure that you know how to approach it based on what I've said, hopefully, and what could work out for you guys okay so moving forward i would like to go ahead and touch on how when you do have a woman and the rejection happens a lot of times women re will reject a man and will do it multiple times obviously their ego is high but also because no man has broken them and down now breaking a woman down is going to be so challenging because the ego has built up so high that no man can touch her that's why a lot of women get away with their behavior as well. So let me backtrack to say that in order to break her ego down, a lot of times you have to get in tune to understand what she's about. Not every woman is going to open up to a man instantly or be like, this is what I've been through. But it's the comfort thing that a lot of men could possibly bring. You guys will bring that based on listening, based on being there and being attentive. You don't have to be the type of guy that is forcing it out of her. And it's going to be based on, well, what do you do? How did you do it? How did you become this type of uh, woman? <clears throat> well, tell me about your past. Or I know you're hiding something, right? It's almost like when women will be like, that's your body count? That's how many girls you've been with and then they expect you to say more even though you were answering that question properly and gave her the full response right it's almost similar and it, it actually relates back to how women feel like they can do or say certain things or get away with certain things and men can't so she might check you or say certain things later on but it doesn't matter fellas once again Bring it back to the woman and make her about her so she can understand those feelings that she's been avoiding. A lot of women out here, they can avoid basically being committed and fully into a man because they have other men. Another thing that you guys gotta get that it doesn't matter how much that you've done that thing for that moment after that. So women will always and they do have men approach them. They do have men will come back after them. So if you do feel like, oh, well, I'm the best that she'll ever get. She can't get better than me. And you go ahead and talk to her and then boom, you don't get a response. Fellas, it's because you're not. Don't lie to yourself the same way these women can lie to themselves and say that, well, I could get better or I should be getting the best or the best should be what I only deserve. Right. You can't do that when 
it doesn't add up or what you're saying, your lifestyle, everything is not aligning. It's all about alignment. So if it's not aligning, there is steps to always take. Don't get your feelings, fellas, especially you guys. Now I'm not talking about women at all. Don't get your feelings too involved where you can't handle your own thought process or what you should respond with. Okay, so the last parts of rejection with women, I need you guys to really, really understand that Yes, you're going to honestly keep getting rejected by a woman. I know it sounds sad, but I'm sorry. It's the truth, fellas. You're going to keep getting rejected by a woman. That is the facts. And so your only job is to really never show validation and, full, and show that full commitment. When you go ahead and not show validation and show that commitment of you're going to be down regardless of the situation, you tell a woman that you have other options. You tell a woman that she is not important. Now, I'm not going to focus about the other options. It could be work. It could be about you or it could be other women. But the woman that you want doesn't know and that's all that is important. So if it's that, that's going to help you. Fellas, if you're more driven into yourself and about yourself and fully committed, fully, fully, as I said, have that obsession, be yourself or something else, then it will get you what you want with the woman because they are going to try to get it out of you. And that's why I touched on, you might not get what you exactly expect, but you will definitely get the results that is good enough. And that's simply because you are true to yourself once again. So don't worry about you know, she's not doing this because you said it. Who cares? Just do what you got to do for yourself. All right. So I really hope this video was really helpful. And if it was, please give this video a huge thumbs up. And I didn't say this in the beginning of my videos, video, but I do have two other links down below. And please go ahead and subscribe. And yes, comment what you guys would like to see next. And you guys will see me in my next video. Bye, guys.